Heavy equipment for ultra low volume cold fogging. This machine is used for applying insecticide by ultra low volume cold fogging, which facilitates the dispersion of droplets with insecticide over long distances. The distance from which the spraying is done allows the insecticide to penetrate the areas behind and inside buildings. Every ultra low volume cold fogging equipment is installed on specific pickup trucks for this purpose. Using the ultra low volume technique with heavy equipment does not eliminate 100% of the mosquito population. So there should be at least three cycles of treatment at intervals of three to seven days with corresponding assessment of the impact on mosquito population. Before using this equipment, it is important to be familiar with its parts many of which we will be handling employing safety measures as we do so. Gasoline motor with electrical 12 volt ignition powered by its own battery or that of the vehicle. Blower which is the compressor connected to the machine's motor. Spray head or nozzle which has a reach of up to 50 meters horizontally and 15 meters vertically and rotates 360 degrees both horizontally and vertically. Droplet metering nozzle which can optimize up to 0.5 liters per minute. FMI metering pump. Pressure gauge to measure the pressure develop. Hour meter and tackle meter to calculate output remote control to deactivate equipment from inside the vehicle's driver's compartment, fuel tank, insecticide tank, self-cleaning tank, machine's chassis, pressure controller which is the switch that closes or opens the electrical circuit according to the pressure of the insecticide flow, insecticide filter, fuse, battery, shock absorber, solenoid valve, remote control connection, operating the equipment. Installed on the pickup truck, the equipment goes through the streets expelling the insecticide through an ultra low volume aerosol generator upwards and towards the interior of the groups of dwellings, open spaces or empty land. These heavy ultra low volume machines dispense the insecticide in tiny droplets that form a cloud around blocks of dwellings penetrating each dwelling in order to eliminate mosquitoes. The nozzle of the ultra low volume machine should at a minimum be able to spray the insecticide in droplets averaging 10 to 25 microns at 0.5 liters per minute. The air pressure should not be no less than 2 pounds per square inch and no more than 6 pounds per square inch. The machine works well at 5.4 pounds per square inch. To measure the pressure at which the insecticide is being injected, consult the manual for the equipment. The insecticide tank should be filled to 40 liters, constituting a one-day supply. The nozzle should be placed at the rear of the vehicle pointing upward at a 45 degree angle and the nozzle angle should be adjusted according to the requirements of the area being sprayed and the wind direction. Steps to take before starting to spray. Planning is necessary before fogging in open spaces. In areas with limited vehicle access, a combination of vehicle mounted and handheld equipment may be needed. The machines should be used in urban or peri-urban areas where a road system for vehicles is in place. Where food is being sold, the insecticide jet should be closed. Before applying the insecticide, use a sound truck to inform neighbors about the purpose and hour of spraying and about poison prevention measures. Ask them to open doors and windows of their dwellings so that the spray cloud can enter. Use of the equipment during spraying. These treatments should be carried out between 5 and 9 a.m. Between 5 and 9 p.m. when the ambient 
temperature is not above 25 degrees centigrade. Fogging should not be done when it is raining or when the wind speed is above 15 kilometers per hour. Use an anemometer to measure the wind speed. During fogging, the vehicle should travel at a constant speed of 10 km per hour. Important, you must close the machine's insecticide valve whenever the vehicle stops. The nozzle should not be struck, blocked with powder or worn. Simple damage leads to droplets larger than 100 microns. Remember that an insecticide's effectiveness is directly proportional to the exposed surface of the droplets. In areas where the streets are narrow and houses are close to the sidewalk, the fogger should be directed to the back of the vehicle. In areas with wide streets and buildings located far from the sidewalks, the vehicle should be driven close to the sidewalk with the spray downwind. A space of 50 meters is the recommended track spacing, with the vehicle against the wind so the fog moves away from the vehicle and operator. You should begin the spraying path moving into the wind, but with the spraying nozzle pointed in the same direction as the wind. This will avoid putting you in the middle of the spray cloud. Dead end streets should be sprayed only as you move out of them. Remember, you must maintain the vehicle speed established above. Try to avoid direct spraying of planted shrub and flowered areas unless a water-based or water-diluted product is used. Once the fogging is complete, you should check the amount of insecticide remaining in order to determine the hourly consumption of insecticide. This will be useful since it will tell you whether you have applied the correct amount of insecticide for the area being treated. Calibrating the equipment. You should calibrate and inspect the equipment based on the time log for each machine and the specifications given in the manufacturer's manual. Ultra low volume machines should be cleaned daily and it is very important to filter the insecticide. To measure the per minute discharge, it is best to work with the motor off. Insecticide pump works with 12 volt current from the battery, independent of the motor. The steps for calibration are Disconnect the insecticide discharge line from the dispenser and store the disconnected end in an appropriate container. Start the fogger, turn on the spray pump and let the insecticide flow into the container. Make sure there are no bubbles in the fogger's insecticide lines. Inspect the insecticide hoses to make sure they have no bubbles. Put the cylinder dial at a higher point on the scale to establish an arbitrary flow speed. In order to measure real flow during a given time period, move the insecticide discharge line from the container to a graduated cylinder. Then time a given time period. Once the period has elapsed, return the insecticide discharge line to the container then turn off the spray. The flow or desired insecticide output will be measured in millimeters per minute or liters per hour. If you do not obtain the desired speed, repeat the process until you do. In calculating the speed of flow or desired output in ultra low volume fogging equipment, you should consider the speed of the vehicle during operation, the effective width of the cloud, the insecticide dose in liters per hectare. The calculation uses the following formula. Maintaining the equipment. Upon finishing each application of insecticide, clean the equipment and each of its parts, following the manufacturer's instructions and use them according to the instruction. To ensure proper maintenance of the equipment, you should consider the following elements. Periodically, check the state of the battery. Periodically, check the filters. Clean the outside of the equipment following the manufacturer's instructions. Make sure the electrical system is working properly. When the equipment is to be stored for long periods of time, turn the machine off and disconnect the fuel hose and filter so that no gasoline remains in the carburetor. Check the oil level in the motor and in the compressor. Keep the equipment in a dry place where it is protected from the sun. 